So I want to recognize our Democratic nominee for State's Attorney of Baltimore City, Marilyn Mosby. City Council Bill 14-443, Police Equipment, Audio Video Recording Devices, Ordinance for the purpose of requiring all police officers employed in Baltimore City Police Department to personally be equipped with digital audio and video recording devices and allowing a phased implementation of the requirement during the first year following the effective date of this ordinance. I think this bill here not only serves the citizens in our district, but it also protects our police officers also. Uh, it heightens the professionalism of them. It's known in other jurisdictions where it's done, where the professionalism have increased 80%, where citizens' concerns have decreased 88%. As chair of the Budget and Appropriations Committee, watching the budget come through every year, you know, if we wait and study and put a commission in place and a task force or whatever to look at everything and write a report, it's time gone by that we've not acted to do something. And I think given where we are today, sometimes you have to just step out on faith and know that it's for the good of the people. Michael Brown's shooting and the heavy-handed police response to the understandable outrage it caused <coughs> is not just an issue for Ferguson or even Missouri. They are symptoms of American problems and bring to the four issues that all Americans should care about. And unfortunately, they resonate all too strongly with experiences right here at home in Baltimore. It is essential that the specific incidents in Ferguson be thoroughly reviewed by independent and impartial investigators so that justice can be served for Michael Brown and the citizens of Ferguson. It is also equally important that all Americans heed the wake-up call these events have provided about serious problems in community police relations that have been growing in recent years. Now is the time to take necessary steps to repair these relationships before the scenario we saw in Ferguson is repeated once again with tragic consequences. But tonight, I will not and I cannot sign on to that bill. No offense from the sponsor. I think it's great. I think it's tremendous. But I cannot sign on to that bill until I can give answers to the four families here in Baltimore who the members were handcuffed. And we still haven't had a solution. We haven't got an answer from them yet.